Good evening and welcome to Left, Right and Center. The RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat called for a review of the reservations policy and the setting up of a panel to decide which categories of citizens require reservation and for how long, weeks before the Bihar polls. Now with an eye on the ballot, the BJP has distanced itself from the ideological mentor, saying there's no question of a review of the policy. Were Mr. Bhagwat's comments a nervous reaction to the Gujarat Patel community agitation? Can that concern be reconciled with the Bihar election campaign? More importantly, with voices in the Congress also speaking about a review, has Mohan Bhagwat opened up a proverbial can of worms? Is it time for India's reservation policy? All this time used as a political tool to genuinely be looked at again. And also on the show tonight, a shocking diktat by an engineering college in Chennai for its women students. The Sri Sai Ram Engineering College says women students cannot carry phones or pen drives, shouldn't use Facebook and WhatsApp, can't talk to boys, can't wear high heels or colour their hair. The list goes on. The college whose professors will join us on the show tonight say the circular is a forged one aimed at spoiling its image. But students say this is par for course, not just in this particular one, but in many Chennai colleges. Are we living in the 21st century? But first, of course, uh, let's go across to our main political debate tonight. RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat's comments calling for a review of India's reservation policy, opening up a political can of worms. Let's take a look at the reactions. We are committed to provide the fruits of development and empowerment of the downtrodden. Even that interview of Sarsang Chalakshi Mohan Bhagwat ji was not at all in the context of reservation. Even if there was some questions, so it is being categorically clarified by RSS yesterday itself. RSS Pramukhan Bhagwat ji, after the reaction यानी आरक्षण के वर्तमान प्रावधान को समाप्त करने की जो मंशा जाहिर की है इससे भारतीय जनता पार्टी का चेहरा बेनकाब हो गया है ऐसा करके जरा वो दिखाएं या काम वो कर नहीं सकते इनको हिम्मत है तो आप आरक्षण को खत्म करो जैसे देश के पिछड़े वर्गों के लोग दलित भाई और बहन well, neither does the BJP nor the RSS have the conviction of courage. The time has come in the 21st century to ask some fundamental questions, to have a debate on certain fundamental issues. Number one, is reservation contextual in the 21st century? Number two, if it's contextual, should the basis of reservation be caste or should the basis of reservation be poor, uh, be economic? It is high time that the Prime Minister at least opens his mouth on all these policy matters. Who is the ideological guru of all the Swam Sevaks, including the Prime Minister? I challenge them to release the caste census and the whole world will come to know what is the actual reality. The true face of this government is slowly coming out. Right, well, joining us to discuss uh, what this call for reservations uh, review means and what impact it could have on the Bihar polls. Joining me uh, on this discussion from uh, the BJP, we're expecting Shaina NC, there she is, joining us uh, in the studio. We have uh, Professor uh, Rakesh Sinha of the RSS as well as uh, uh, Kamal Farooqi of uh, the Muslim Personal Law Board. We're also being joined by the Congress, uh, Sharmisha Mukherjee and uh, from their location, we are being joined by Dalit writer Kancha Elaya as well. Uh, Shaina, first to you. Uh, the BJP has distanced itself from the RSS uh, chief's comments in a manner of speaking, but there have been voices within the party itself uh, that uh, are, are sort of on board with this idea of a review of reservations policy. First and foremost, please understand what our Sarasang Chalakji Mohanji Bhagwat said. He said that when one talks about reservations, one has to worry about the weakest sections even within those. This was about a social inequality which continues to exist and which we do not have any blinkers on. And I'd like to quote where he says, the benefits of reservation should reach weaker sections of society. 
Now I don't understand where there is a contradiction in term. Hmm. Where is the BJP saying anything which is contrary? And if at all, our party has made it amply clear that when it comes to inequality, whether whether it's the scheduled caste, the scheduled tribes, the other backward caste, even within that, our endeavor is to empower and to economically empower, educate and ensure that sections of the, uh, the weaker uh, uh, sections in society are not just protected but are given opportunity so that as a country we move towards a situation where we don't have a disparity or an inequality social economic or otherwise so I think it's amply clear you had uh, uh, Mr. Trivedi speak on your channel and I don't think that we should constantly try to rake up a controversy when there is none Okay. We believe that there is there are people who are genuinely concerned for the interest of the whole nation and that's exactly what the RSS propagates. So please don't try to uh, read a wrong reason into it. Is there, Professor Sinha, is there, is there something that we're misreading about Mohan Bhagwat's comments on I, I, resolutions? I think it's not misreading, but there are certain people in this country who, who, who are habitual to make a propaganda against the RSS. They see in every issue on RSS, they make a propaganda. I am just quoting Mohan Bhagwat ji. On 7th September 2014, he was in Delhi. Hmm. He, was launch, uh, he was just launching a book of uh, Sonkar Shastri, a BJP leader. In that he said, the present system of reservation is essential for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. Hmm. Even if it is essential for necessary for 100 years, it should continue 100 years. Yeah. Same Mohan Bhagwat ji when says that there should be review committee by non-political people. Yeah. What does he mean? I am giving one data. In Orissa, the dropout rates of the uh, scheduled caste uh, children uh, from class 1 to 10 is 85 percent. Mm -hmm. In, in uh, Uttar Pradesh, the dropout rate is 57 percent. Right. Why the, after 60 years of independence, more than 60 years of independence, <coughs> Are why are Dalits are so Dalits? Yeah. There are certain people who, who, are using the, who, are, who are using the reservation as an instrument of politics. RSS doesn't see as instrument politics. RSS is connecting the uh, reservation policy with the developmental discourse. Okay. In, just I'm uh, ending here. In the neoliberal age, when there is in vast inequality is increasing hmm. and the marginalized people are becoming more marginalized, yeah. is reservation capable to give the marginalized people, to empower the marginalized people? This is the fundamental question which should be raised in the neoliberal uh, okay. economy. Right. Before neoliberal I bring policy. in Kamal Farooq and Kanchaila, I also I want Sharmishra Mukherjee to come in on this. Uh, Sharmishra, there's at least two Congress leaders Jitin Prasad and uh, Manish Tiwari who have talked about the need or to contextualize reservations in the 21st century. I think the issue that uh, you know uh, scheduled castes and scheduled tribes fall under a reservation category is not really the part of it that uh, people are questioning. It's more about uh, the other backward caste. I mean the sort of uh, various demands you have whether it's the Jats in Haryana, the Patels now in Gujarat all demanding a uh, reservation under these categories. Where do you come in on this? Do you, do you feel there should be a review? Do you feel there should, be, there should be an expansion, a curtailing? What's the Congress view on this? You know, first of all, let me say that, you know, Congress is a democratic party. Yeah. And in a democratic society and country like India, there would be various uh, differences of opinion. But our uh, Congress uh, leader, Srimati Sonia Gandhiji, has categorically stated uh, that reservation is required and Congress is committed in our 2009 as well as 2014 manifesto. You know, we have talked about not only reservation, continuing with the reservation of the existing uh, categories, but also including the upper caste poor. Because the whole vehicle of uh, registration, it is a means to empower people, to give benefit to those people who has been marginalized by the uh, by by history by uh, our society for centuries so it is to empower them it is to uh, it is to uh, ensure that the the that the result of the growth is just not in terms of the gdp growth but also it gives social justice it gives socio economic opportunities mm. to every section of society so it is extremely important to continue the policy of reservation and yeah. it is not playing politics at all but it is a necessary means of social justice it is a social necessary so means for necessary, social economic justice in that necessary means of social justice kanchalaya do you think that uh, 
the demands that we are seeing from various communities today are justified for a reservation. We've just had a violent agitation in Gujarat uh, for, from the Patel community, for example. Well, look, Maya, the issue is, uh, on the one side, there are these Shudra upper caste who are demanding for inclusion in the reservation. And these people in Gujarat, for example, have been a strong supporters have been of BJP. Hmm. And also, large number of them are with RSS. In fact, the Patels have been saying that, you know, we are part of this package of BJP RSS and asking for either our inclusion or uh, removing the reservation altogether itself. Now, it is in this context that Mr. Mohan Bhagavad's statement has to be seen. And it is in this context Manish Tiwari's absolutely reactionary politics from the Congress platform have to be seen. Hmm. Now, in no quota, the OBCs in the central government got filled up to the point of 27%. Yeah. If there are more number of candidate available, whether in the middle class, whether in the rich among them, they, these entire quotas would have been filled. Now, what are they talking about reviewing and what are they talking about economic category now? Yeah. Okay. Even on the caste category from the richest of the rich, the quotas are not filled. Not free. All right. Okay. So, where uh, is the misunderstanding? No. Yeah, I both. I have just one question from uh, Kanchan Elaya. Yeah. How did you get the data that RSS is supporting that movement? The entire media is not not talking about that. A second thing, I, I have a question that in Jamia Milia, I am giving example. In 2005, there were more than 500 seats, and 234 seats of scheduled caste remain vacant. Hmm. In Delhi University, almost 20 percent seats for scheduled caste remain vacant. No scheduled caste people reaching to the biotechnology department. These are the fundamental questions which, which we have to address. Okay. Is there Western as a tool to make the Dalit well, to remain to keep the Dalit as a Dalit? To empower to, them. Uh, to that's keep that's the Dalit as Dalit or, or to bring them in the mainstream. No, okay. How long they will be right. Dalit? All right. So, okay. so there think, will be in time bound program, time bound program to remove true. the inequality, to remove the socio-economic equality, okay. inequality. All right. Kanchai exactly. Laya and, and Professor Sina Sharmishra Mukherjee wants to come in on this. We'll just come back to you. Sharmishra, make your point. We want to bring Kamal Farooqi also into this. Go ahead. Sharmishra, go ahead. You are talking to me? Yes, sorry. Yeah. No, I would just like to, you know, talking about statistics, I would like to give some statistics that during the uh, uh, Modi government in Gujarat, you know, there has been a backlog of 28,000 of SCST jobs which were lying vacant because of a very strange policy of the Gujarat government to take districts as the unit rather than the state. So there was actually a ban on inter-district uh, uh, movement. And also, as per the planning commission, a percentage, a certain percentage of the total budget of the state is required to be allocated in proportion to the total SCST population, which in Gujarat was 14%, whereas during Modiji's tenure, it's only 5.42% was uh, allo uh, allocated for this. Hmm. So I would really like to no, know that, you know, statistics. why this also, kind of discriminatory... No, no. Sir, Mr. this is wrong statistics. Can you point out the source of these statistics? Can you okay. point out the source? Or, no, let, let her point out the source because th well, this yeah. this is wrong. This well, is completely this, wrong. Uh, on one of the channels, this is, this I, I, I reject. This is, this is from the eco economic No, 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 no. There, there are no 28,000 vacancy remain in Gujarat. No 28,000 vacancy remain for the scheduled caste. This is a, this is a false well, statistic. You, you are just just misguiding the you are just misguiding the audience. She's, she's I saying, have just given you my source. No, no, no. This is this is there is no source for that. She's saying it's the economic survey of India. No, no, so which no, no. There is nothing like that. 28,000 seats are remained vacant for the scheduled caste. Where? All right, Kamal Farooqi, please come in. I am feeling very really amazed. My, my brother Sinha uh, is also talking about, and on yeah. the same platform, uh, Manish is also talking about, and uh, about my it's sister, an my idea. sister in the Congress uh, is feeling a little, little embarrassed as to what to de what to say and what not to say. Unfortunately, it's a clear cut design, hmm. and it's a clear cut design wherein everybody is involved into it. They, uh, in the name, uh, just to uh, in the name of the equality and what not, actually what they are doing. They are taking away the rights of the scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, who for okay. thousands of years have been victimized, have, they have not been in a position to get their share, mm. and that's the reason they have been given the uh, 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 the reservation under 341 itself. Now, 
as far as the OBC is concerned, that is also a history that these uh, classes, in fact, they continue to remain uh, uh, remain poor and they were not in a position to uh, get all those things. Now, there is a clear-cut game plan in it. Raise this all this issue like the Patels. I do not know who has done this. Yeah. That, uh, my brother is saying that it is not RSS, but somebody must have done it because Patel is a kind of community which which is the sole, uh, sole bread and butter of the of BJP the over there. Yeah. That if I say I like this. And they, ha they are raising all those kind of Why? That we must understand they are trying to raise it because let Mohan Bhagwaji and let uh, BJP people at one side say something else, let Congress say and then try to raise the whole issue.